Emergency firearms can be a staple part of any run when dual wielded effectively. Once taken, they will respawn every 15 seconds if you move away. However, doubling up on the same pistol is not as effective as you might think. This is because pistols of the same kind share from the same energy pool. For good versatility and sustained firepower, try a different pistol in each hand. The exception to this rule is the blast pistol. These shotgun style pistols have independent power sources. Close the distance or lure your enemy in for huge damage. And we're going to be taking advantage of enemies and their inability to fight effectively around corners. Once alerted through damage, proximity or line of sight, all enemies within the game that can advance towards you will do so as soon as they lose sight of you. Drop back behind the corner and wait. The blue emergency firearm known as the blast pistol is extremely effective during this maneuver. Also note that when luring multiple enemies in this fashion will often cause them to form a conga line, allowing you to sit back and dispatch them with relative ease. Once unlocked by dying three times, the practice area is a fantastic place to get actual experience against real enemies. With the exception of the end boss of the game, you can practice against anything that you've killed or has killed you, and all the weapons you have unlocked will be available to use. Simply search for the enemy you wish to fight, adjust the number you wish to go up against here, then hit spacebar to begin. Do note that each enemy comes with a brief description as well as their strengths and weaknesses. If you are struggling against something in particular, the keys to domination lie here. Both of the power-ups found within the game should be self explanatory. Free reload allows you to do just that for 10 seconds. When trying to cram ammunition into the end of your free reload time, you don't have to completely finish the reload for it to count. Just getting the ammunition type into the slot before the timer ends is enough, be that a magazine, round or shells. And as far as the armor power up is concerned, although it will block one point of damage of any kind, you won't take it with you to the next floor, so use it or lose it. If cover is not an option, staying mobile is an excellent strategy for avoiding damage. Namely, strafing. The vast majority of enemies in the game will try to lead you, but as long as you have some distance between you and them, most of their shots will not be fast enough. Returning fire while strafing is an extremely effective tactic, allowing you to whittle down the enemy's numbers whilst preserving your health. Also note that most enemies will target your face. Remember that ducking or sidestepping in your play space will complement this strategy very well. Good ammo management is key to getting firing compound, and although the blue emergency guns have unlimited ammunition, they can sometimes be a little slow on the reload and lacking in firepower. The special weapons in the game are divided into four coloured categories, with weapons of the same colour sharing from that ammo pool. As a general rule, if you have a weapon equipped or in your inventory, enemies have a chance to drop ammunition for it. Ensure you use all ammunition within a magazine before reloading, as any rounds dumped in this manner will be lost.